What's up, everybody? Canuck here. Another Dream Team playthrough. Back over to the red team. And uh, we're going to be playing Bryn Owlon. This is from Skinny Post, one of my favorite designers. Uh, maybe one of the more quirky designers, especially in this contest, too. And I'm just looking at the yardage here. 6,300 yards, par 70. Um, yeah. This is going to be wild. Take a look. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this. This is neat. So it's basically almost like built on a big hill here. I don't think there's any bunkers on the course from what I understand. I think it is a bunkerless course, so we are playing a lot with undulations and ground game and stuff here, so give her a go. Take it. So yeah, Skinny's always just masterful with planting. Love this little dirt road kind of area thing here. Um, almost these little just like uh, depressions are like kind of, they're just grass bunkers, which is really cool. Ah, terrible shot. Terrible shot. Long putt. Trying to get it close. We'll take it. In for the par on the opening hole. Head to two. Is this in the fairway? Ah, he's got like a little bell. Because it's a blind shot. So like trying to ring the bell when you're done. Cool. Never seen one in the middle of a fairway, though. I mean, it's not in play, so. Great little grass bunker in there. Yeah, he's done a nice little job just with grass bunkers. Real natural feel. This was a course I, when I was making my top 20 list from December, uh, was in my top 20, and for some reason I just, I forgot it when I was doing the video, so... This is definitely in my top 20 scores. I have played it before. It's unreal. Did a quick playthrough. So. That's a nice shot. I just love how it's kind of just on the hill here. This is a beautiful par 3. Okay. Love this. Whoa, we played the slope nicely. And then we tapped in the birdie. Birdie, birdie. Birdie, birdie. Okay, 510 yards. Little tiny grass bunkers. And just... Oh boy, what a mess. I'm in one of his little grass bunkers. Oh no, I got a good kick. Real good with undulation. A little wild maybe up here. I don't know. Not sure how realistic that would be, but... No idea what could happen here. Oh, needs a kick to the right. This is a wild green, kind of just up against the slope. Ah, we're in one of these little grass bunkers here. Uh oh. That's a big miss. Right? Well, again, these short par fives seem to kill me. I, lo I love the grass bunkers, just protect how well it protects the green. And you're getting side hill lies like crazy on this course. No flat, not a lot of flat lies out here. It's short four, really again well protected by little uh, swales here. I guess, what, what do we call those? Swale? Swell? I don't know. The words there. All little grass nipples for now. Grass nipple. We're calling them. Whoa, that hit the downhill. Yeah, just a ma this is a master class of like uh, elevation. It's very subtle, but uh, you know, it's 
difficulty isn't all just bunkers and water hazards. It's it's things land movement like this. Uh, Skinny Post is one of the best at it. Okay. Big apron here. Ooh, we gotta watch out for that nasty little pop bunker there, or green bunker. Brass bunker. There we go. We'll come back. Oh, it is. Not quite as much as I would like. Rams at home there. Just rams at home, birdie. Three under. This course is an absolute blast. How it has less than 100 plays on PC is just shocking. Take that. I like the little aiming marker there. Just I lo look at the little dirt path there. It just looks so cool. Lighting is great. Ooh, what do we got here? Kick off this little ridge and come back down. I think it might. Come on. Get through there. Oh, it didn't get through the fringe. Oh, that would have been so good. Mmm, we just missed the birdie cut. Fine. In for the par. Another short five. It's creeping its way up the hill. Over the dirt road. Oh, look at this. That is scary. I do not have a club for it either. Take a lot off of this. Oh. Pull it. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe we were going to get a nice little roll there, but... Close. Tracking. So freaking close. Okay. R4 is just getting me here. Love this. So, I mean, it's funny, because, like, the last course, the Mount Michikoko, it was, you know, not a lot of... Um, it's just, uh, just level of quality, not a lot of hazards, stuff like that. It's just level of quality and planting and sculpting. It's just, um, it's just done better on a court, on this kind of course. And I'm hoping people can see the difference in quality. Not saying the last court, last playthrough course we played was bad, not even close. Just... Yeah, this just looks really good. It's a lot of fun. For a course with no bunkers, which I like my bunkers. Uh, this is a blast to play. Right. Three birdies. We're three under through nine. Head to the par three tenth. Look at the little farm field in the back. I feel like we're kind of at the highest point. We're gonna maybe start make our way down. I feel like we've been climbing the entire time. That's just me, I don't know. Come on, start breaking a little bit more. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Rolled in nicely. Drive here. Daughter just woke up. But I gotta give him a lie. <laughs> oh, wife had to go to the bathroom. There you go. Hi, a dog. Everyone's just coming in and interrupting this playthrough. All right, hi. There we go. There we go. We're almost done here. 
<laughs> uh, amazing. Okay. Oh, not quite. Quite. Oh, look at this. I love this. Big time, like, Mega Redan here. Oh, but we're kind of ignoring it, going right at this thing. A little bit long. Get in. Nice, but... Take it! I'm kind of speeding through this. I gotta... Oh, this is a little bit of a wild uphill here. Maybe a little much on this one. I thought it would roll down, but it didn't. Very borderline. A little short four, though. That's how you play it. Very nicely done. Tap it in for birdie. Two birdies in a row. It's a great course. Loving it. Oh, I love the camber on this, how it kind of comes down from the left. That's not what I wanted to do, but I think I'm going to get a good kick. I did. Be a good shot here. Take it. Oh, my little one's crying. Dad's coming. We got a few holes left. Four holes left. Four holes left. All right, 121. Just a short, short little par four, par three. Little farm fields in the back. Great. Get a bounce. Oh, it just glued there. We're gonna putt this. Hill straight in. Yes. It is straight in. That's a good putt. That is a good, good putt. I haven't list the little touches, you know, the little flowers and stuff. Done such a good job with the little details on this course. Proud to have this course on the red team. That's for sure. Uh oh. That's good. That is no good. Hacking it out of the junk here. Okay. Live with that. Get somewhere close. Thought that was in. Playing well here. Playing really well. Par 3 and a par 5. Start to wrap things up here. The light wind has definitely helped. course is so well done. The game is on point here. And okay, we've gotten to 18 without any kind of bogey. Oh wow, crazy. Another, again, really short R5. But a very well protected green. Hard to find any sort of flat lie. Get it up there. Oh, not if you get a slow. Oh, we're going to get it up there still, but that will be a nightmarish putt. Back right corner of the green. 84 feet. Do we have a miracle putt in us? Let's start breaking. Get in. Oh, it's, tr it's tracking too. But we'll tap in for another birdie. A nice... Clean, hard there. Played that in 14 minutes. Uh, 8 under 62. This, that's a great skinny post course. This needs to be played a lot more than played. Um, great job, again, for a course with no actual bunkers. And it's just it's so nice. Um, undulations and stuff are just great. Uh, a lot of fun to play.
again, great job, Skinny. And next time, we will be back and playing the final Blue Team course before the captain. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. Have a good one.